So Jan, you, you, you've done work all around the world helping cities make themselves more friendly to people and pedestrians. And just standing here in Times Square, what are, what are some of your thoughts about what we could do here to make Times Square a little less overbearing for pedestrians? Yeah, first, I could say that when many cities around the world are in need of taking better care of their pedestrians and the public life, and the city as a meeting place for people, which is the purpose of cities originally. It's of course the fact that the cities have become more and more under pressure from a steadily increasing number of, of vehicles, of traffic. And um, in places like this one, we have a, a typical conflict. It's a very popular place. There are hundreds of thousands of people. And there are many, many cars and there are not, is not room enough. But if you look at the people who are milling around on the sidewalks or trying to get across, each of them have a rather unpleasant situation. They are being pushed and we'll see very few children, very few handicapped people, very few elderly people under conditions as chaotic as they are here. So it, the whole place could be substantially improved. We have seen in the last 20 years a remarkable change in the mindset of many traffic engineers that from accommodating as many cars as possible, they have become much more uh, interested in balancing, in making traffic calming, in redirecting traffic and maybe trying to improve conditions to move in cities in other ways. And we have even seen the first cities now who have got departments for public space and public life. I just think that in a place like this one, the balance is wrong and something ought to be done to, to celebrate this unique place so that more people in a more dignified way can have, can enjoy.